Now this is the technique I am going to talk about the bridge of the Antakarna. The, this is being talked by Master Chowa. This is being talked by Alice Bailey. And this is a technique which is used by the Taoist. And uh, this is using the 8th Chakra. Now, there is a, a particular connection with the Divine and there is a spiritual cord which connects us across. I have seen in one cartoon movie, the, the person wears a scarf like kind of thing, covers the ears and there are like antennas. This spiritual antenna is called as the Sutrama or it is called as the Antakarna. Now this Antakarna actually is connected to the Medha Nadi. The Medha Nadi is the Nadi for the higher states of consciousness. Now the, uh, uh, the, there are four kind of things across. That is Manas. Manas means that is the hard part of the mind the mind, the buddhi, the discriminatory sense and the third one is that of the memory and the storers of all those things with regard to the mind. Now all these three gets connected with the uh, sutrama and or the antakarna across. Now this has been shown as a catechus the Kadakas is the central and there are two snakes uh, which are doing that across and this Antakarna is connected with the Godhead, is connected with the Divine. Now for lower souls, souls which kind of kills people, which kind of murders people, which kind of create a lot of imbalances in the world that is that cord is cut off and people who behave tamasically across people who do not have higher consciousness the sutrama is is very very thin and when the sutrama or the antakarna becomes bigger and bigger and bigger your spiritual life tends to expand your spiritual energy body tends to expand it is like a main server we are the sub servers it is like the google it is like the satellite this is the satellite and we are the receiving stations across now the energy tends to open up if you are doing a ritual for example if you are doing a home arm, if you are doing a puja the spiritual cord opens up and the divine light tends to come down across the other one is you do an important punya you do a dharma activity you tend to give a lot of things to people without expecting anything in return then the sutrama becomes bigger because there is an influx of energy which comes to you across as a person. So this is the essence of Antakarna or Sutrama. It is the uh, ID, it is the password. Indians call it as Nakshatra. There is a, a star like kind of thing across from which there is a divine energy which flows across. Now, how do we improve the Sutrama? How do we bring the energy directly? Of course, by chanting, by invoking the Gurus, by invoking a variety of uh, mantras, prayer, chanting, spiritual techniques, opens up the Antakarna and kinds of bring down the spiritual energy into the different chakras across. That is why people who are very spiritual are very intelligent 
and their IQ is more than the normal level of intelligence across. Now the how do we how do we bring about it? The antakarna you imagine a golden light which is coming across from the antakarna into the sahasa chakra and into the achina chakra throat heart and it goes down into the earth cord. Between the legs there is an earth cord. So you allow the energy to go down across as a person. Now this is a, a very very important technique to build the bridge of Antakarna. The Antakarna has to become bigger and bigger and bigger. Directly you start downloading the divine light across. Now initially it will be very very tough across to download the divine light across. You will find it very difficult to download the divine light, download the, uh, I mean the, the concentration. You might feel very disturbed about the uh, entire thing. You might fluctuate across. So keep a half an hour's time where you imagine a pillar of a divine light or a white light or a golden light coming across and hitting the head and it is like a waterfall which is coming down across. Now initially do it for half an hour then you can go on expanding for three hours, four hours there will be a huge divine light which will be coming across. Now initially you might find very difficult to imagine, very difficult to focus because it, it is a kind of requires a lot of effort and this is an energy technique. It only depends on the visualization. It does not depend on the mantra part of it. So you imagine it. But when you do the mantras also, when you look into the Antakarna, when you, you will see the Sutrama expanding and it is the divine light coming down. Physically, it means you will develop insight, you will develop intuition, you will have clarity about the past things across and your mind will become sharp, your senses will become sharp, you will be able to listen to the distant sound across, you will become very very peaceful across as the energy enters the heart chakra and you would be able to uh, feel evolution. What was interesting, what was entertaining earlier will no longer be interesting and entertaining and you will be able to release it very very easily across. So that is the so that is the Antakarna part of it and you will see slowly the energy coming out of the hands. Now this technique I have seen being perfected by Master Cho. Master Cho who is the founder of the Pranic Healing was able to do that. He was able to bring the huge amount of divine energy from the Antakarna. He was able to open the divine light otex at his will and he was able to bless a lot of people and by which he could manifest things across. For example, he told in one of the meetings, he said, let everybody has 10 uh, pranic, uh, pranic uh, uh, patients across. Everybody got, I know some of them who are like very normal. His words had such magnetic power that it could change the people consciousness. The other one was, he told uh, there will be uh, somebody brought a land across, he blessed the land and he said it has to get uh, sold across and immediately it got sold across. So that is the power of the divine light. Of course the Kundalini, the earth cord is taken and it is merged across. That is a merging of the earth and the heaven which is also another powerful technique which is called as the circulation of breath where you circulate the energy in the kundalini across. So this is a powerful technique. Please practice for a little more than half an hour to one hour. You will see a huge download of energy. But of course, just like a good athlete, you need to focus yourself. You need to practice repeatedly to bring the impact 
into your life across so that is the power of the uh, the 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 sutrama and it can make a huge difference you can understand scriptures easily you can understand wisdom easily without you making any much of effort across so that is the power of the sutra